and let's see what's going on we do have the six of pentacles and the three of pentacles both of them in reverse so i would say somebody is a little bit out of balance after the um, separation we absolutely have a partnership that went um, wrong with the three of pentacles right something went wrong a separation of some sort eight of pentacles but we want to work on it eight of pentacles the energy of dedicated effort is the energy of paying attention learning how to love learning how to show love express love eight of pentacles nine of swords right we want to put this to bed they want to put this to bed a lot of stress that they are actually not investing in right they are trying to tune it down nine of swords and the death scorpio energy if you are dealing with a scorpio they feel betrayed and in pain over this and it is an ending of the pain right the only way is up death in reverse and the tower upright disruption ever since this connection ended this person of yours can be your energy we feel like it's the end of the world it is not pleasant death in reverse seven of wands right self-protection mode survival mode that's the seven of wands blocking all the negative forces and investing um time and energy in keeping themselves um safe or you keep yourself safe however you resonate right <clears throat> so cancer bottom of the deck page of pentacles in reverse might be a taurus virgo or a capricorn seven of swords um, upright and the six of cups you know it's the only energy i don't read in reverse so six of cups with the three of wands um, um cancer this is an this is the energy of and i'm sure this is more your soulmate the person you are dealing with because we do have here um a rejection or um you know um it's kind of like somebody cut communication somebody um cut their offering um they might have um uh, backtracked a, a little bit with the death and the tower explosion and they probably walked away we have this energy of um, silence and walking away <clears throat> but they walked away with the seven of swords energy um it feels like sneaking um you know through the back door Kind of energy you know somebody walked away took their pentacles away but in a, in a, you know not in an honest way um right they left and uh, not everything was um you know up on the table and then we have this energy of six of cups three of wands right now they wait for you we do have the energy of soulmate <clears throat> we have them waiting for an opportunity to come back three of wands we know it expectations it's knowing that the right time will come <clears throat> sorry because they've invested and we also have um the six of cups this is reconciliation this is reminiscent about the past wanting to spend time with you wanting to talk to you come back um you know going through um the communication that you shared um to spend a little bit more time in in that moment so So let's see cancer past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies we get three that's all right that is a lot to say current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies bottom of the deck six of pentacles we had it while shuffling in reverse and now it shows up um upright that is a six of cups six of pentacles we know six is the harmony number so somebody here um desires harmony and balance and fairness and decisions and um is actually waiting and expecting okay for some of you i'm not gonna lie it can be the energy of um of you wanting this person being aware and awakened to the bond um that you guys share and waiting for them in order to get back in balance so of course i um you know um i always say don't put your life on hold if you are the one waiting right we continue the journey 
and when they come back they will uh, pick up you know um where we are um so we keep going but i i can understand the need for balance for some of you um and the universe for that person waiting and feeling that something you know we need balance and something was unfair and we need fairness in this just so you know they left with the seven of swords energy right there was one that was shady um I'm hearing disrespectful. I don't know if this is about disrespect or it's simply somebody didn't um, have the gut, right? To say whatever they um, had to say. I know, I know. Well, look here, um, Cancer, in the past on your side, we do have the death and we have the Knight of Cups. Um, well, when they left, we were still in love with them. We still had a lot of um, Emotions, love, a soulmate bond. Um, of course, one is my I love you, I want you, I want to make love to you card with a knight of cups. But this is also your energy. So probably somebody put an ending to this and, uh, well, mostly your person. And in the process, um, you got transformed, you got enlightened. Um, you worked through your emotions. Because knight of cups is, um, you know, every time we have cups upright, Yes, we have emotions, but we we know how to manage them. We are in control. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm sensing you did the work and you transformed. And yes, it is about an ending. But it looks like um, you got your way out of it, right? And in a beautiful way. Knight of Cups is a beautiful energy. It's a youthful energy. It's an energy of not losing hope. Um, you know, it's not quite the accomplished um, king or queen, but we are journeying and it's beautiful to see um, how far you've um, come. Now this person of yours, <clears throat> Cancer, they do have the Fool and the Four of Cups. And let me tell you what energy is this. This is the energy of I've been such a fool to miss this opportunity, right? And yeah, it can be about new beginnings, and yes, it can be, but this combination of energies is them beating themselves up and saying, gosh, I wish I, um, I, wish I had um, had a hint at that time, right? That was a good opportunity. And I walked away just like a fool, and a fool has something impulsive, has something, you know, it, it is upright, so thank God it's not that reckless, because we had the Seven of Swords as the overall energy. So that is, that is a shadow um, with this new beginning of theirs. Um, for some of you, it can be the energy of uh, somebody disappearing. Um, you know, no sign of uh, them being alive. Um, it's also the energy of taking a risk. And it's interesting because even the Seven of Swords, it has all the shady energies. But it's also taking a risk. Is somebody stealing seven swords in the night when nobody's watching, right? So that is an energy of risk. I don't know about illegalities or stuff, but I absolutely know that with the fool and the seven of swords, there is a lot of risk. It's like somebody throwing themselves um, in a very um, um, unreasonable way or uh, in a blink of an eye, right? Sudden. This is how it feels. Now, mutual energies between the two of you uh, might have been a third party situation, right? We do have the lovers. We have the three of cups in reverse, um, Gemini energy, and we have the queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, of course, can be an air sign you are dealing with. Um, can be you having swords in your chart, but lovers and the three of cups, we cannot have a more specific energy of there might have been somebody else and they took a risk they gambled actually this is the word i was looking for they gambled um, um you know this connection of yours and it was one based on love and a soulmate bond um we know six of cups can be about kids so we um probably some of us we have kids with this person so so this is um you know um and then there is the Queen of Swords. Somebody went, while you offered your cup, this person might have went all cold on you and uh, took a risk and gambled this connection for uh, maybe another one, you know? Because they had options, Cancer, right? Four of Cups. Somebody had options, contemplated, and looked, and they uh, missed the moon while counting the stars, right? Kind of the energy on their side. 
Um, can tell where are we right now? We do have the Empress in reverse and we have the Knight of Wands. You know how it feels. It feels like we are getting our mojo back. We are in action mode. And the Empress in reverse is this energy of I feel that I'm my emotions are exiting my body, right? The Empress in reverse is I have nothing else to give. I have nothing more to give. It's this energy of um, I've been so dedicated, I gave them my mind, my body, my abundance, my creativity, my home, um, whatever I had was shared and um, given to this person and now it feels like, you know, um, in a mind frame of I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be happy again, I'm going to be passionate again, I'll break the chains of this, right? And, um, and the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, of course we have two nights, um, can be a fire sign, but as it is, the energy and as it flows on your side, it looks like um, we are close to action, closer to action that you might uh, think, and it's all here, right? When we get the nights, we know it is about um, um, action, and um, of course, one is uh, out of passion, one is out of love, and uh, maybe we'll get one out of, um, um, you know, need for stability. So, this person of yours, they do have the strength and the knight of swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Leo energy. Um, this is them gathering their strength, right? Um, to come forward. We do have the knight of swords, but it is in reverse. This is the energy of being stuck. Um, this is the energy of inaction. This is in the energy of lack of planning. They're just existing, but we know why, right? The strength. Somebody here is taming themselves. It's an energy of getting stronger. It's an energy of um, of getting kinder uh, towards the situation, towards you. It's the energy of identifying the beast inside of them and the instinct and um, taming themselves, getting on their best behavior, being on their best behavior because they want to come forward. That's a knight of swords in reverse. Here somebody has something to say, this is not over, there is still action to be had in this connection and um, you know they are preparing themselves actually. And look at this, isn't it amazing? Mutual energy is between you and this person. We do have the temperance, Sagittarius energy, and we have the strength, Leo energy. But it is beautiful because it tells the same story, right? Somebody is not courageous right now and longing for compromise and coming together. Temperance is the energy of, for the good of this connection, we need to find, <coughs> we need to find a way. For this connection to work, we need to find a way. And again, this energy of I'm not courageous right now, but I'm preparing myself to be, right? To come forward. So I'm picking up the energy here of somebody wanting to come back. And temperance, it has a lot of love. It has a lot of, um, not the love in terms of passion, but it's um, when we compromise, it's uh, the love for the other person, right? It's, um, it's I see you, I appreciate you, and I'm willing to come halfway to meet um, to meet you in this of course they were the one uh, living blindly like this and taking a chance but you know they are mastering their courage a little bit and um, that is this desire to balance out the situation temperance it's a little bit of healing but it's healing through action and work and working together right it's a little bit of you with a little bit of me and we will create the whole um, you know, me and you, so us as a couple. So, moving forward, um, Cancer, we do have the Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Magician. I love this. This is the law of attraction. This is the law of whatever you manifested is coming your way. And we have the Four of Pentacles. This is breaking the chains and becoming confident. Um, this is the energy of I can have whatever I want. This is a mind frame. This is a life change. Um, this is about life-altering events. This is about you having the tools and breaking the chains. Four of Pentacles. You've been probably guarded and in self-protection mode. It has been quite a situation. 
and we finally can breathe right that's a four of pentacles i don't need to protect myself i need i don't need to stay quiet anymore i have dreams that's energy coming your way i have dreams i have powers right i have the mind i have everything that i want i have to become the person that i want that's a magician beautiful amazing now this person of yours we do have the hermit in reverse virgo energy and the queen of cups i told you they want to talk i hate i told you i just hate i told you i'm sorry um and i hope i'm not going to repeat that i did something that i i um je detest right je detest anyways so um the hermit virgo energy this is the energy of i want to talk to my cancer i want to talk i, I want to break the silence i have something to say and then you show up here as the queen of cups in reverse so they might be away from you physically but this is the also the energy of them being afraid that maybe you will not be um, emotionally available right you might not be um, emotionally um, um, available to welcome them with whatever they have to say but they want to talk I do love the hermit this is the soul journey and it makes sense because we have the strength in reverse so this is the energy of um, getting stronger getting smarter taming themselves and knowing where that is um, um, wrongs to be done right and they do it courageously so there was a, a soul journey with the hermit there was a moment of introspection and they come out with your energy so that's good mutual energies between the two of you a lot of thinking and a lot of stress two of swords contemplation uh, thinking of each other but stressed nine of swords will my cancer take me back how is going to be the first conversation right what exactly is going to happen if i approach and i sit down am i going to be able to say a word right that's a stress and thinking of each other two of swords now cancer let's have let's ask for some guidance let's see what we uh, need to do here let's see what we are guided to do so this one is yours we do have romance so love is the one you love with personal attention and affection i believe the universe is kind of blunt blunt today <laughs> Um, I believe you are guided to take them back or to wait for them, but not put your life on hold, please. It's not what I'm saying. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. I know, right? Romance and back to what you love if you love them. And cancer, honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. So you are kind of guided towards this person. Back to what you love, romance and honesty. Kind of like... You can take them back. You can have love with this person, but please be honest. So whatever you you lived through while they were they were away, probably this is what you need to tell them. Probably that it has to be a conversation of some sort, or it has to. And you know, if you had your own journey while waiting for them, well, maybe you know that's the honesty to be had. Um, can also be yes back, but we have conditions, right? So we have commitments in some way and that we have expectations, you know. Whatever honesty you need, it feels like you are guided, but you always have to use your better judgment, of course. Now let's see the energies we need to get back into the flow. And we have purpose. I know what I'm here to do. And you know how it feels, Cancer? It feels like yes to love. Yes, to taking them back with honesty or speaking your truth, but also maybe for some of you, your career and um, life path and uh, professional path is important. I know what I'm here to do. So for some of you, having an idea in your head of changing something, um, you know, um, having a new purpose in life, well, you are guided to focus on and pay attention and nurture it. We have to get the patience back. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So we need to be patient about something. We need to take our time. 
probably for some of you you are actually guided yes to love yes to romance yes to honesty but in divine order you know let's not rush if you can we do have acceptance i am learning to accept the things that i cannot change acceptance right i am learning to accept the things i cannot change cancer we have surrendered defensiveness defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response and bottom of the deck we have surrendered to prayer so some of you this is what brings patience and purpose and acceptance right so we have give yourself over completely to prayer when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers will and support will arrive so my beautiful cancer this is all that i have for you guys i want you to stay strong and safe baby take care of yourselves as always let me know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time love you take care